Hey guys, it's AGI Skating Soccer here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this phone holder. So basically, if your phone is laying down, it's just someone to have your phone nice, like maybe when you put it before you go to bed or something, and you can still reach all the ports and all the buttons. And also, this is meant for a 5C or something of the small iPhone or SE. So, obviously, you can do the same concept, but make the proportions longer for a bigger phone. So, without further ado, let's get started. The materials you're going to need to make this is a roll of duct tape, some scissors, and if you want to, you can use a um, toilet paper roll, but that's kind of optional. So, the first thing you want to do is you probably, well, I'm just going to measure this. This is a sheet of paper that's eight and a half inches, so your first... Um, pieces probably need to be about 8 inches, so I'm just going to use this as a reference. So you, what you want to do is you want to make 3 pieces this long. The next step is to kind of layer them like a sheet, but the important thing is to remind it. So uh, as you can see, this is the piece we're making, except we're making it this way. Sorry, I can't get that. We're making it vertical instead of horizontal. So, what you, so you want to make sure that you overlap the pieces just a little bit so it's long enough for your phone. And obviously... You want to make it a little bit bigger than your phone, so let's go ahead and flip these over and kind of layer them. So, I like to have mine a little bit bigger than the phone, so I'm just going to set the phone over here to the side while I do this, so I can kind of keep a size reference in mind. So, I'm going to barely overlap them. You can obviously, depending on the length of your phone, obviously add another piece or two. Or two. So, yep. So, as you can see right now, that's big enough. But you want to be, ah, uh, sorry, you want it to be long enough for the whole length of your phone. So, sorry, I had that the wrong way. So, um, so yeah, you barely want to overlap these. Because you want to make sure that it's long enough. You can fit the length of your phone. So, as you can see, it fits. And there's a little bit of extra room to spare. So the next step is to make three more pieces that are slightly, when I mean slightly, like very slightly shorter than these. Now that you have the sheet here, what you want to do with the pieces that you just tricked out is try to center them as close to the middle as possible, yet leaving some sticky on either side. So let me show you what I mean. So here's the first one. See how there's a little bit of sticky on each side? That is what you want to do because that is very important to the next step. And don't overlap them too much or you won't have any, or you won't be able to completely go up and down. What you're going to do is you're going to take the sticky side and you're going to go ahead and stick it to the other sticky side. So it creates a little crease and fold like this. So this should be its shape. And then you can go ahead and trim the top to make it a little bit more even, like so. And so this is obviously the main case part. So then what you do is with the part that you stuck together on top, you're just going to smash it down evenly on both sides and make a pretty good crease. So this is going to be the bottom. And so, yeah, so you want to make sure... You crease the seams pretty well so it can have a good strong base and now this is the part where you can use the um, the roll and you can just stick it in there and what that does is it gives it a little bit extra support and so this one I made is not quite as big as this one but that's okay because it still will do the same job so let's go ahead and make the bottom part and also if you want to make one side longer, then you can just pinch not in the middle like this. So if you want to create one sim more similar to that one, then you can pinch on one side that's not the center. So this is what it looks like from a side angle. And again, you kind of want to get the crease to the bottom pretty hard. So I ended up going with a shorter, one shorter side and one longer side. So then what you want to do, if you're going to use the roll, you can make kind of it, you kind of want to make it into the same shape so this one's kind of like a right triangle so 
I kind of pushed that into the shape of the right triangle. They're pretty moldable. And this just gives your duct tape a little extra support. Um, if I can get it in there. One second. And so you can kind of just put it in there. There we go. And what I'll do is like when your phone's sitting on it, it'll give it a little bit extra support. So here's what the phone looks like compared to it. So as you can see, it obviously doesn't, nothing, it just slides down right now. So we need something at the bottom, like this, to hold it in place. So that's what we're going to make next. So you want to get another piece of duct tape the length of your width. So the length of this. Do another one the same size. Then you just kind of want to put these pieces on top of each other, but don't put them directly on top of each other. Kind of leave like a gap at the top. So like this. Ah, oops. So just about that much of a gap at the top, and then. You want to make sure that seal is really good, and then you're going to put this gap on the bottom of it, and we can always trim this later. And what you want to do is you want to take this seal, and you just kind of want to go around and curl it in and attach it there. So then you have a little holding spot so your phone doesn't slip. And obviously, you want to trim the edges. So you, what you're going to need is a piece of duct tape about the length of this. And you're going to kind of fold it in half, but leave, but don't close it in all the way. So kind of like leave the air in there. And then you're going to want to attach it to the side. And then once you have it attached, then push the duct tape in on itself. And so that will create a nice little edge. And then you can take a little bit of duct tape and just seal it into the center so it doesn't like flare out or anything and then you can just do the same for the other side so here is what the finished product looks like if you want to you can just close off the edges with a, pink of with a piece of duct tape and so i really hope you enjoyed this video comment down below your favorite thing to make out of duct tape and until next time bye